85 Honda CB650 custom turbo kit. This is a mock-up right now. I have been riding it a little bit, but uh, this is not going to stay like this. The seat's coming off. It's getting sandblasted. Everything's going to be all brand new. I'm going to relocate the turbo under the seat, but I just wanted to let you guys do a little rundown on how this works. You got the fuel pump, which obviously the gas comes through here into the fuel pump, comes out of it into the pressure regulator with gauge. Which then, uh, I'm only running about uh, 1 PSI at idle. That's just enough for the uh, for it not to push out through the needle and seat. Um, as it goes into boost, it raises the fuel pressure 1 PSI for every uh, pound of boost. I've got the uh, turbos off of Volvo, but anyways, I've got my fuel return, which lets this all work. Um... Otherwise, the fuel would have nowhere to go. I've got this other pressure regulator on here, which uh, is also boost sensitive. I mean, it. Uh, this is all, like I said, a mock-up right now. Works pretty well. For every PSI that you gain in your in your tube and in your carb, you have to use this. Uh, usually, you drill a hole here and put this above the fuel line to pressurize the fuel bowl. From the turbo but i'm using my overflow because this on, on this particular carb the overflow actually comes out above where i need it to be so that worked out actually uh, usually you cap this and then drill your own hole um it's just running off uh runs about five psi right now not too bad i mean it fires right up So yeah, my neighbors hate me, but um, yeah, that's a quick rundown. Oil cooler cools the oil after the turbo before it gets back to the engine, so that's good. Um, probably gonna go to a uh, an external oil pump at some point. Got turn signals in the grips. If there's any other questions about this, just let me know.